New at six, we are learning new information about what authorities are calling a possible homicide investigation in White House. According to the chief police there, a man was killed Thursday night in a duplex on Hank Street, just down the street from the White House Community Library. KETK's Kara Rucker joins us now live from the scene with a timeline of the events. Kara, what can you tell us? Well, Casey, this all started around 930 last night and we're talking 21 hours later and crews are still working this scene, even though it's dark. Now, when they had first gotten out here last night, they walked up to the door and that's when they saw blood on the outside. That's when they entered the duplex and they found their victim stabbed by a knife multiple times and they found that victim unresponsive. Now, there was also somebody else in this unit when police had arrived and that's the one that's currently in custody being question for the crime. The police chief tells us they don't know the relation between the victim and suspect. They're also investigating the motive that led to the stabbing. Hazmat crews have been at the scene all afternoon and night as the investigation continues. Chief Robeson tells us at a press conference it's a lengthy process, but they are following good leads. We then proceeded to call out Smith County crime scene to assist with the investigation as well as their investigators. I think that um, I'm, as a prediction, I think in the next couple of days at least we'll have uh, an arrest made. Chief Robeson also saying this is an isolated event and that there's no further threat in this area. Now, after talking to several of the neighbors out here, they've been left in the dark as well. They're still curious to know what in the world happened in their neighborhood last night. They say this is very out in the ordinary for them. I'm reporting live in White House, Kara Rucker, KETK News. Tonight